it has been done. But sort of. I mean, the video is not even close to done. But the what might actually be the hardest part is done. Which is all of this audio. Standing at 51 minutes, 32 seconds. Uh, almost an hour long Squawks episode. What the fuck? Uh, so, let me, let me adjust my stupid tweaking chair a bit. So, this video. Uh, I already talked at length about it. I, I don't want to have another 10 minute situation where I talk way too long about the video. Uh, I do want to explain my release plan for it. So, as I said in that video, in the, in the first kind of like announcement why this video is going to take a while, I stated that I my development rate for video is about eight minutes of footage uh, per day, maybe ten. Uh, because of the varied subject matter of this, and also just because it is fifty minutes, I mean, do the math there. It's going to be even if assuming I really start recycling footage and really start pushing that eight minutes further because I have more footage to work with, which is how these videos work. I, I When I have so much footage to work with and I can, like, manipulate stuff where I can reuse footage if I'm talking about something, which is intentional. That's not just me. I mean, it is me being lazy, but it's also, like, when I reuse footage, it allows me to bring you back to an idea and concept. If I show my joke shot of Mike throwing the crying child, it's referring to him bullying, and when I talk about bullying later in the video, I can show that shot. Uh, that was just an example. Uh, that's just off the top of my head from Mike Flesh. I remember that being a thing. But for this video, like, A, the subject matters changes, like, uh, three times, I would say. I mean, it's all on puppet stuff, but what I'm specifically talking about changes throughout the video, so I can't reuse as much footage, which is going to slow it down a bit. But also, since there is so much talking, that there will be inevitable conceptual overlap, so I can actually use some footage. So I don't I don't know how brutal this is going to be to edit. I've never done a video like this. Uh, like, this is almost double the length of some of my longest stuff. Uh... Like this is almost a rant video that I've that I'm gonna do all visuals for and it's completely scripted. Uh but uh I do have some plans to how to make this a little less egregious in terms of wait time. My idea is that the Discord will get unlisted segments of it released uh for the build up of it. And once I feel like there is a good time frame of it. I want to start counting down and then releasing some of the segments as I complete them. Uh, and then at the end of that kind of countdown, it will just be the entire video drop. Uh, so for, for the, for the common YouTube audience, it will all, it will just be a long wait time that just drops all at once. But to make sure there's something going out there, uh, the discord will get, like I said, fragments of it. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I thought about maybe setting up like a Patreon to make it like a Patreon thing to get the video early, but I'm like, I don't want to paywall this. This isn't pay this is an unfinished video. Is this paywall worthy? Uh, and also that's like a lot to ask for one video, so I would have to be like, actually stop using my Patreon because this is all I would use it for or whatever. Uh, like there are ideas I thought of how to do how to do an early release for it, uh, without just dropping incomplete parts because this video does not flow. If I were to split it up, like if I were to like just take it right here, just like <laughs> two videos, it would be incoherent and I would get so many, I would get in that thing where I'd want to make part two a bonus video and then I would add more and then you would have two 30 minute long videos basically uh, that are like incoherent without each other. Cause like, I guarantee if you have problems with like this first half, uh, you'll want, like, you'll want to see the rest of the video, because that's, because I, like, this entire stretch here is all just addressing problems that this theory makes. Not problems with puppet stuff. That's, like, that, like, that's, like, this entire video is talking about the problems with Will stuff, the problems with puppet stuff, why I think there's evidence for puppet stuff, and, like, why I think it's better. And I try to think of, like, I, I try to cover everything in this video. 
normally I just cut out the big arguments. Like that's something I did with Cassidy Phantom Rager was I just focus on the big main arguments. But for this one, it's everything. It's everything I can think of for the most part with only a few things cut. Cause I, I felt they were too mean or accusatory, uh, that weren't like real. I like, there was one of the things I said that I'm like, it, it felt great in the moment to say, but I realized I shouldn't be in a video. Uh, it's just kind of one of those like venting about a frustration with like theorizing and it's like uh, it, it, there's a remnant of it where I do talk about how it's annoying that in theorizing culture you'll just have people throw up buzzwords to like make a video sound worse when they don't have a real complaint. Uh, it's stuff like, oh, it's just fan fiction, which sometimes applies. There is sometimes where saying something is fan fiction uh, does apply. But sometimes it's applied when you just think they're going to narrative focus, and that's what you actually mean. And it's like, that's not a real criticism of theory, that's just a criticism with, like, what people are saying, like, or how people are presenting it. Or, typically you don't like something and you want a reason to make it less valid in a simple throw-out word. So stuff like, it's too complicated is often thrown out, when it really isn't more complicated than something else. Uh... Like, that's something I find where it's, like, I've seen that complaint happen sometimes where someone will say, a theory, like, a new theory is too complicated, and then I'm like, but, but you believe this thing, right? Yeah. That's more complicated. Molten MCI is, like, the go-to example. It is so much more complicated than any other theory in terms of something that's commonly accepted as canon by a lot of the community. Uh, and yet people will say something very mundane is too complicated. Uh... But that's just, that's the kind of, like, there's some spiteful stuff that I cut, but that's pretty much all that was cut. It was, uh, but ho hope, I think my aim for a release date is either on the 25th or before the 25th. Uh, well, yeah, 51 minute long video so far. It, it might shorten down because there might be, like, oh, flub takes that actually snuck in there. Sometimes when I'm just really slamming things down and trying to, like, get everything in place, I'll accidentally have a reuse take that I just forgot I listened to twice. Uh, or there might just be little stutters, or maybe something I'll find was too spiteful sounding. Uh, but, oh, oh yeah, the OST list on this one is, or I guess unoriginal soundtrack, as the Discord point out. Uh, it's like 18 songs. Uh, some of these are cut up, like this... I have a, a video clip here uh, that, like, cuts the song in half. But it's, like, Risk. I've got Risk of Rain stuff in here. I've got Undertale and Deltarune. I've got some Celeste stuff. I've never even played Celeste, but I have Celeste music in here. I've got some Earthbound stuff. I've got the song, Home, like, From Home, We're Finally Landing, which is, like, using Summoning Salt videos. There is so much in this video. And I'm doing it again. It's going to be a 10-minute long video again. What the fuck is wrong with me? No! No! Bye!